what we are looking at here is, well, he didn't use this phrase. Uh, you know, I, I would say it's sc uh, scotastic terrorism. This, what, what we're looking at, there's a, there's a type of terrorism, it's called stota stochastic, S-T-O-C-H-A-S-T-I-C, stochastic. And what it means is, well, actually, there's, there's, a, there's a definition of this. What, what Hans Nichols said, here's, here's what he said. He said, you have conservative lawmakers. See, you got, we have now bombs at Hillary Clinton's house, bombs at Barack Obama's house, and bombs at CNN, right, or things that look like bombs. He said, quote, you have uh, conservative law, oh, and, and, and a bomb at George Soros's house. He said, you have had conservative lawmakers push some conspiracy theories that say George Soros is funding that caravan. You have seen some things that have been clearly debunked, issues that are not actually factual. Republican congressman, uh, namely Matt Getz down there in Florida, talk about how George Soros is funding that caravan. So he's talking about that in that, in that context. Uh, the last time we had a, a meaningful conversation about this on this program was back in 2011, after Gabby Giffords was shot. Uh, in 2016, Rolling Stone, David Cohen did a piece in Rolling Stone about stochastic terrorism. And in fact, interestingly, Merriam-Webster, the dictionary site, I mean, if you look up what is sto stochastic terrorism, what is it? The headline is, were Trump's comments stochastic terrorism? This is from August 10th, 2016. This is on Merriam-Webster's website in their News Trend Watch section. They say lookups for stochastic spiked after an article in Rolling Stone used the word to describe Trump's suggestion that Second Amendment people could do something about Hillary Clinton. What it means is, and this is, uh, you know, from, from, uh, from Merriam-Webster, stochastic terrorism means using language and other forms of mass communication. So this is in the people who have access to the media. to incite random actors to carry out violent or terrorist acts that are statistically predictable, but individually unpredictable. Now, the, the, the benefit of this, the reason why basically every nationalist authoritarian movement that has used to stochastic terrorism over the years has risen to power in the, result, in the, in the wake of chaos is because they could plausibly deny they had anything to do with it. You know, Trump comes out and says, quote, Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish the Second Amendment. And by the way, if she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is something you can do. I don't know. But I'll tell you, it'll be a horrible day if Hillary gets her judges in. Right now we're tied. That's, that's what Trump said back in 2011. Excuse me, 2016. This was uh, during the primary. But I, I think that the, the, the point here, let's, let's just combine both of these concepts and then you know, fully understand what happened in Mussolini's Italy, you know, uh, what happened in Pinochet's uh, Chile, what happened in, in uh, uh, Franco's Spain. Well, what happened around the world. I mean, the, you know, this, this, uh, the, there's a website called Stotastic stochasticterrorism.blogspot.com that has a detailed explanation of this. And like I said, we talked about this on this program uh, back in uh, 2011 at some length. And in fact, you can find the, the, the threads are, you know, are still over on our website. In fact, uh, this, you know, uh, January 13th, the headline, are Sarah Palin, Glenn Beck, Michael Savage, and the rest of the gang guilty of stochastic terrorism? Question mark. I'm asking that question today about Trump and Bannon and Miller and the other guys, now that we know that Bannon and Miller are the ones behind the, the, the racist immigration question on the census and other things. See, what? go back to bin Laden. Bin Laden would release a video saying, oh, look at these horrible things that the West is doing. They hate Islam. They're going to kill us all. They're, you know, they're trying to destroy us. And boom, somebody would go blow themselves up. 
the stochastic terrorist in that case was bin Laden, but you couldn't prove an association between him and the person who blew themselves up half a world away. And that's what happens. And that's how it works. The person who actually plants the bomb or assassinates the public figure, figure, official, they're not the sto stochastic terrorist. They are the missile that was put into motion by the sto stochastic terrorist. And, and the person, the, the terrorist, is the person who uses the mass media as their weapon, as their tool, as the means to set those missiles in motion. And yeah, you could say, oh, it's a lone nut or it's a crazy person. Well, there's enough of them out there that if you want to be a st stochastic terrorist and you are on a major television network or you are on a radio program or you are on a major uh, radio network or you're on hundreds of radio stations around the country or you simply have access to the media, you're a member of Congress or something like that, you can hold a press conference and get your message, you too can be a stochastic terrorist. There's nothing mysterious about this. All, you know, all it takes is just the right push, right? The right few words. Back on July, on 27 July 2008, this is from the, from that website, stochasticterrorism.blogspot.com. On July 27, 2008, lone wolf sh shooter Jim David Atkinson walked into the Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church and shot nine people, killing two and wounded, wounding seven. He said he was motivated by his hatred of, and I quote, Democrats, liberals, the N-word, and the F-word for gay people. Only he used the words, obviously. When the police searched his home, they found books by Michael Savage, Sean Hannity, and Bill O'Reilly. On April 4th, 2009, Richard Poplowski shot five Pittsburgh police officers, leaving three dead and two seriously wounded. Police searched his computer and found links to various groups into a YouTube video of Glenn Beck talking about FEMA concentration camps coming. On May 31, 2009, Lone Wolf Scott Roeder shot and killed gynecologist Dr. George Tiller while Tiller was attending church services. This is one of the clearest examples. Bill O'Reilly had over, over 20 times used the phrase Tiller the baby killer, this relentless campaign against George Tiller on his nationally syndicated Fox television program. In this case, Bill O'Reilly was the st stochastic terrorist, and Scott Roeder was the missile who got who got activated. No relationship between the two. See, you can't, you can't hold Bill O'Reilly to account for this other than morally. The Tides Foundation, there was, this, there was this guy, a convicted felon, his name was Byron Williams, set out from his mother's home. And so many of these lone wolves are setting out from you know, their parents' basements, uh, in, heading for San Francisco. He was stopped by the California Highway Patrol for weaving in and out of traffic at high speed. When he stopped, he immediately opened fire on the police. He, he wounded two of the, of the California Highway Patrol officers. They returned fire. They shot him in the leg and then took him into custody. And at first, they thought they were looking at a garden variety cop shooter. But no, he said Glenn Beck was his primary motivation. According to Williams, quote, Glenn Beck is like a school teacher on TV. He's been breaking open some of the most hideous corruption. Beck would never say anything about a conspiracy, but he would never advocate violence. He'll never do anything of this nature, but he'll give me every ounce of evidence that you could possibly need, end of quote. Prior to Williams' planned attack, Beck had mentioned the Obscure Tides Foundation 29 times on his program. This is stochastic terrorism. You heat the waters, you stir up the pot, knowing full well that sooner or later a lone wolf is going to pop up. Trump has been promoting this. It's been around on the right for a long, long time. As, I, as I'm pointing out to you, these go back to 2007, 2000, you know, just calling it out. This has been going on for a long time. But it has become one of the principal methods now of scaring the hell out of the Republican, you know, the Republican Party scaring the hell out of the Republican voters. In fact, when we come back from this break, I'm going to play a, an ad that right now the Republican Party is playing. I saw it last night on my TV here in Portland, Oregon, that, in my opinion, is sto stochastic terrorism. It's an incitement to violence by, quote, lone wolves or lone nuts, by unstable individuals.
There's a reason why we haven't had why we haven't done this in America for a long, long time.